What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my May Holy Grails and fails and we have a lot of stuff to talk about today a lot of makeup now skincare I really didn't um, update my skincare routine or change it or really do anything new so today we're gonna be diving into strictly strictly dickly no strictly makeup and some fashion items I know I didn't do an April favorites video where like where is the time going you guys the year is half over we're about to be in like we're about to be in summer I cannot believe June is like around the corner it's here I can't breathe I'm just like what the fuck but the good thing about June is that my summer collection the chrome Jeffree Star Cosmetics full collection will be launching around the end of June I feel like um, I feel like I know the date and I feel like I should just tell you guys right now even before the reveal video So June 24th the summer collection will be launching on my website and of course all of my retailers will have it as well I will be doing a swatch reveal of everything next week. I know you guys are watching and you're waiting for it and you're like Besides that you guys April and May have been so insane my collaboration with Manny MUA exceeded our expectations and it just exploded and um, it sold way quicker than we thought so we, I just want to say personally thank you so much for all the support on that collaboration I know a lot of you are asking us to please bring back the Eclipse highlighter and the daddy lipstick if you do not know I'm shook liquid lip is still on my site there are some left but the other two items are gone so maybe y'all should tweet Manny and say bitch bring her back also I was just in Saint-Tropez which is the south of France and I went with the brand Jouer which I'm going to talk about them later in the video but I had such an amazing time on that brand trip so I got to bond with other amazing beauty influencers and it was such an incredible trip you guys I think that traveling is just so fulfilling so a lot of you have been asking me to do more videos with Nate and those are definitely coming we have a lot of cool stuff in the works but if you guys have any video ideas or anything you want to see of me and Nathan tweet me or sound off below and I know a lot of you have been wondering um, if Zach is gonna be returning on my channel sadly he moved back to Michigan California did not really work out and me and Nate Oh, you guys no Tino shade though. I just love living alone I mean four dogs is amazing. Those are our babies But there's nothing like living alone and just having sex whenever the fuck you want on the couch on the floor on the kitchen But anyway, um, yeah, but good news is you guys me and Nate have been traveling a lot um, And we've been visiting his hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I don't know I might Want a house there? We'll see what happens. Everyone in Michigan, watch out, bitch, because Jeffree Star is coming. All right, you guys, if you want to see my May holy grails and fails, then keep on watching. Um, but if not, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's dive into some makeup. I'm a little shook to the ground at myself because I am obsessed with the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Now, listen, for a foundation to be $8.99 and drugstore, I am, like, shocked at how sickening this formula was. I know so many of you wanted me to try the Fit Me uh, Maybelline foundation, which I have and I did buy at Ulta, but this one spoke to me and I have been wearing this in like five videos. Y'all will never know because it looks so snatched, but you should know because this foundation is so incredible. I don't know what it is. It just looks so airbrushed and pretty, but not matte and dry. It's like very like, I don't know, doll-like and just stunning. And I'm obsessed with it. I have been using shades 10 and 20 now for the last three weeks and I'm hooked. This one, definitely number 20, is like my exact shade. And I am such a fan of this. So shout out to Maybelline girl, work. All right, you guys, so Marc Jacobs Beauty has this new highlighter that came out about a month ago. It is infused with coconut. And I'm just gonna show you because I can run my mouth all day, but until you see this in action. So basically, this is a liquid, of course. Obviously, you can see that. It is for the body, face. You can put it in your foundation. But just look at this finish. That is literal, pure metal. Now imagine that on your neck, on your body, on your, I'm just gonna put it on my neck anyway. Like, are you kidding me? It's just so stunning in the sunlight. I mean, I put a lot on my hand because I'm a sick bitch and I love the bling. But if you just subtly do this or rub it on your legs for a photo shoot or you're just on the beach and you want everyone to stare at you, like, look at that. <gasps> oh, it's just so stunning and Mm, it smells so good. So this one is the this one is called do you question mark So these are coconut gel highlighter drops and these are limited edition I think so if you're watching anyone from Marc Jacobs Beauty, please make them permanent All right now listen for the month of May. I use this a lot now the brand Natasha Denona which 
is pretty bomb. I will say that. I've been using it for a while now, for like two years, and I'm obsessed with the formulas. Now, I know Natasha is finally um, on Sephora.com and in some stores, which is so amazing, girl. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Her eyeshadows are unreal. The formula, the pigmentation are just on point. So when she put out a new palette, you know mama had to have it. So this is the Sunset palette. Now, besides the astronomical price point, now I'm just going to keep it hood with you guys. This palette is $129. I know. Let me let you all roll your eyes right now. Let me give you a second. You guys done? Okay. So after you get past the price point, I swear to God, I don't know what it is. The formulas are just uh, amazing. You see, I've been really going in on these colors a lot. Um, when Manny did my makeup for his channel, he used this palette. I've been using this a lot. I did a no brow look a few weeks ago and you all were like, where's the tutorial? So I think I will definitely have to do one. Um, I just love this brand. I think it's really cool. And the colors though, I mean, hi. All right, you guys, now let's talk about some blinding highlighters. I'm sure some of you were like, bitch, what the hell is on this cheek? It is from the brand Jouer and they have these amazing powder highlighters and girl, let me just tell you something about this company. I love indie brands that create amazing formulas and have really cool packaging. Um, I've met the owner, Christina, about mm, I think like a year ago and we just really bonded and our love of makeup has brought us really close. So I am about to, before I even show you these highlighters, I am, well yeah, let me show you the highlighters, but I do have something to say. For the first time ever, I don't want anyone to fall off their damn seat, but for the first time ever, I have asked a brand if I could have a code for all of you guys because I really believe in this brand. I love them um, and they are a smaller brand. You know, they're not in Sephora and Ulta. Um, they're definitely like me where they are, you know, they do have some retail, but they are very online driven and they are a really cool company. So after trying all their products for a while, I saw that Manny and a few other people had codes and I was like, you know what? I know I am never about the code life. I really don't ever want you guys to think, oh my God, Jeffrey's doing this for money or he's doing codes to get more money. Like on the realest to you guys, my brand has blessed me so much. And the reason why I don't do codes is because I don't need to make the money. And I know that I don't want that to come off as pretentious or sounding in any type of way. And regardless of anything I say, people are going to articulate it in their own tone. And their, and their own way, but I don't do codes because I wanted to always keep it really honest and I always wanted you guys to, to you know, be like, you know what, Jeffrey is the, the one bitch that isn't getting paid to say this is cool or this is great. So I think the only way to achieve doing a code was one simple route. So I asked Jouer if I could donate um, all the money that I'm making from the code to a charity and they were like, oh my God, are you for real? That would be amazing. So I am not gonna keep any of the money. I wanna donate it 100% to a charity that I believe in. And in Los Angeles, there is the LGBT Community Center, basically, this center in Los Angeles. I have visited it. I, am, I used to live around the corner from it. It is the world's largest provider of programs and services for the LGBT community. Um, and they help people from all around America. And I just think it's such a cool place that I've even visited myself. I used to live around the corner from the center a long time ago when I first moved to LA. And it's just something that I'm really passionate about. So if you want to try the brand, of course, I am giving you this offer to use my code. And it will, of course, be going to a good cause um, and I will be filming going there soon and I can't wait to surprise them so if you use the code you do get 15% off and they just released this new line called the skinny dip collection if you guys saw me on the trip on snapchat um, in San Tropez about a week ago you saw my cheekbones looking something like this and this is one of their highlighters it is called the skinny dip as you see mom has been going heavy in the pan now this formula let me just take a clean finger here like you see that Ooh. Itch. I'm just gonna put this on my hand so you guys can really see what's going on. Hi. So if you are someone that loves a blinding metallic glow, you're gonna love this. Let me do a few more swatches. This is shade Citrine. Girl. First of all, there's that. Second of all, there's that. Ugh, they are so pretty. I'm like obsessed with the formula. I mean, look at the way that glows, you guys. I am obsessed. All right, last but not least is from one of my favorite brands, Benefit Cosmetics. Now, they recently put this Cheek Parade palette out about like a month and a half ago. Oh my God, I have been using it ever since. And let me just show you what it looks like. So of course it has its classic Hoola bronzer here and now there is a new shade, the Hoola Light. I love mixing these all over forehead, cheeks, jaw, nose. 
um, taint, feet, whatever you want to put it, baby. Recently, they also put out this new blush called California. I mean, as a California native, I love the name, and it is just such a beautiful, like, rosy, peachy type of tone. I love it. I'm wearing it a little bit right here. And dandelion, why have I been putting this in my crease? I'm kind of living for it. And as someone that travels a lot, I love bringing this because you have bronzers and blush in one, and you don't have to have a bunch of compacts around, so I'm into the travel things. I used to not be into this type of, like, packaging, and now... It's convenient, bitch. All right, let's dive into some fashion. Now, oh my God, girl. First of all, sunglasses. Every time that I wear big sunglasses on Snapchat, I get so many people screenshotting it and tweeting me what brand, what brand, what brand is this, oh my God. So the top two, I'm gonna pick them today. They are, one is from Chanel. These are the Matrix glasses. Let me just put them on for you. And basically, as you see, as you move your head, they look like the intro to the movie Matrix where all the green numbers are falling down and oh my god, I love them. Um, they're huge and obviously if you don't have a horse face like me and no eyebrows, you may not like them, but I love big glasses. I love big anything really. Second pair of glasses that I got such a like high number of requests of like what the hell were they were these beautiful, huge, um, silver chrome aviators, and this is from the brand of Versace. Oh my god, I love these. Now, sometimes I like glasses that have an opening because you can see the highlight. So when you're doing selfies or pictures, your glow really gets to have its moment. With these, the glow is covered. So you gotta sacrifice the glow or, I don't know, but I am obsessed with these ones. I think I've been wearing them for three weeks straight, and they also come in red and black, so I might need those. Now it's time to talk about the elephant in the motherfucking room. So this is the Chanel Boomerang, which here's what's crazy about life. Now, look, some may call me controversial. Some may call me, I don't know what people call me. Well, I do, but I've heard it all, so I really lost track. The other day, I bought this from Chanel on Rodeo. Shout out to Gabby, I love you, girl. First of all, it's a boomerang, okay? In my head, as an American citizen, I have seen boomerangs since I was a child and they have been used for leisure activities from dawn till dusk, girl. So when I bought this, I did not think anything of it. I snapped it. Um, I was throwing it around in my backyard. Um, I even chipped it. Let's just zoom in right there. Look at those chips, girl. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you throw the boomerang and it lands on your roof, um, which was kind of hilarious, but hey. Fuck it. Now, I bought this because I love Chanel. I am a fashion whore, and I just love anything fun or unique. So I also bought Chanel tennis rackets, tennis balls, paddle balls, but of course, the boomerang just turned into a circus. Now, um, I am really sorry if anyone was offended by this. At the end of the day, I bought this with my own money because I thought it was cool, and me and Nate love to do outdoor activities. What I didn't expect was for TMZ to follow me at the airport asking about it. CNN.com emailing me asking for a quote of what I think about this and how it's a culture appropriation, and I'm sitting there like, oh my god, I literally woke up the next morning to literal hell, you guys, and here's, like, I had no idea it was going to be this big of a, like anything, not even a big deal, anything at all. I really thought, cool, I'm just showing something cute on Instagram. I know a lot of you were like, girl, that is from an indigenous Australian culture. That is a whole thing for hundreds of years. And I did a lot of Googling and I'm like, okay. Now the price point was a little crazy, yes. Did I spend $1,300 on a piece of wood? Yeah, but that's my own money that I worked for, so who the fuck cares what I buy? Here's what I don't like is that after doing some deep research, because I'm not a boomerang educator or, uh, you know, that in tune with the subject, um, walmart.com has been selling boomerangs for 20 years for $10. How come no one cared? Boomerangs have been sold at Toys R Us for years. Boomerangs are for sale at Target, uh, everywhere, every store in America. They are literal, like, they're, just, they're common things here in America. Um, but I think because it's me, because it involves me, it's always gonna be a circus and people always wanna try to drag and make this into like a thing. We always call it like the thing in my house, like, oh, here we go, girl. So I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Um, that was obviously not my intention and I'm sorry if anyone took it like that. But I think that there are other horrible things going on um, on this planet and in this world that I think people worrying about a piece of wood is just really sad. There are just so many, you know, horrible tragedies happening every day and so many horrible things in the news. You know, I think that we live in such dark times and there's always something so horrendous on the news. I'm like, girl, like literally me buying a piece of wood should not be 
on TMZ, but hey, people love entertainment and they just love trying to fuck with me, so great, you had your fun. Moving on, next. All right, you guys, last but not least, I'm gonna talk about another Chanel product because they're one of my favorite brands and just some little news drama is not gonna deter me from shopping. So, Chanel is one of the first luxury high fashion brands to make an LED purse. What the fuck does that even mean? Maybe you saw it on my Snapchat, which if you don't follow me, it's linked down below. But Chanel recently put out these gorgeous boy bags and they are LED activated. I'm gonna slowly dim the lights for you guys so you can see this bitch in action. Oh my god. It is so amazing what technology can do nowadays. It's just so cool. I am such a fashion lover. When I first saw these, I was like, <gasps> now you open the bag like this and it has a switch inside where you can change the patterns of the LED. So let me change one for you guys. <gasps> Oh my god, these look so sickening. All right, so I changed the pattern and I'm gonna turn off all the lights so you guys can see this in action. Oh, yes. So basically it does like a million things. It changes different colors. Here, let me just open it and I will switch it again. I mean, come on you guys. The other day I was in the club and I turned this on. People were gagging. And by the way, I go to the club about once a year now. Look how cool this is. It's like raining down. It almost feels like I'm at like a Vegas like nightclub or like an EDM show. I think this might be one of my favorite ones. It's like all the little C's bouncing around. All right, let's talk about a few things that didn't really work out for me over the last few months. Oh my god, girl. Now listen, y'all know Christian Louboutin is one of my favorite shoe designers on earth. I'm beating a dead horse by, by saying that. I have a closet full of red bottoms. But when it comes to the makeup, you guys, it is very on the misses for me. It is misses. Oh my god, no thank you. Now, this mascara, $70. Underwhelming, nothing special, um, and I'm not just being like shady, I'm not trying to sound rude, it's just the facts, and I think people are a little afraid of honesty nowadays, but listen, I don't care who watches this video, at the end of the day, this for $70, no ma'am. And the second item that definitely flopped for me, oh my god, Givenchy Beauty Girl. Now the foundation that they put out recently was very pretty. It was very on the more like light coverage side, so I've only used it a few times since reviewing it. But this beauty sponge, it looks amazing. When I saw it online, I was like, ooh, it looks dangerous. Like, and you do wet it, it expands. But for some reason, it did not distribute the powder and the foundation correctly. It was very streaky on camera, you could really tell. And sometimes beauty lights are a little more forgiving. Girl, there was nothing forgiving about this except my skin. And it just, it just was not a hit for me. I was really disappointed in it. I loved the shape of it, but it just did not work for me. All right, you guys, those were my holy grails and fails for the month of May. I am ready to dive into summer. I'm sure all of you are. So I will see you guys very soon in my next video. So watch out for that summer collection. Everything will be revealed soon. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Mwah.